hated that rickety old beauty shop, but I had a plan. I thought, as soon as I'm big enough, I'm gonna get me a pink Corvette, and I'm gonna drive straight to New York City, where I shall live in a big hotel, and I shall work as a stewardess. <laughs> and on the weekends, I am gonna tell stories and sing songs on the stage at Madison Square Garden <laughs> in a diamond bikini. <laughs> I was a delusional child. <laughs> I spent most of my time alone, sitting on the front porch in my Sears pretty plus jeans. <laughs> Flipping through my catalogs and glamour magazines Chasing after wishes and visions of my life to be Glue and shiny silver glitter on my Burger King crown Dreaming of the day when I could get out of town And all about the wonderful things that could happen to me Chase my dreams and my hopes and my schemes all the way to New York City. Write a best selling book, record me a big hit song. Or wear a crown and a gown in a beauty contest, cause I'll look so doggone pretty. Or be a star on a stage, find a place where I belong. See, Mama saw the same ladies. Week after week, year after year, Miss Helen, Miss Melba, Miss Neva, Miss Bane. It was like I had this constant stream of overly indulgent grandmothers, which would probably explain the fat thing. Baby, do you want a moon pie? <laughs> Okay, darling, you go look down in the bottom of my purse. There's a banana moon pie in there with your name on it. But be careful, sugar, because my gun is in there. <laughs> and I cannot remember if the safety's on. <laughs> and I wanted to live a dream, too. And Mama said I could. She said, baby, you can do anything in this whole world if you put your mind and your heart to it. And Miss Vader said, that is bullshit. Miss <laughs> 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 Vader was not very happy. God love her, which as y'all know is a sweet southern way of saying she was a colossal T-C-H. Her real name was Vita Elder, but I called her Vader because she was tall and imposing with this shiny black helmet of hair. Also, she had respiratory problems. <laughs> She hauled around this portable oxygen tank, which I called her Android O2. <laughs> and she'd sit up in my mama's chair with a lit cigarette in one hand and her oxygen mask in the other. And she would just say the most horrible things like, Betty. You should have got you a better education. <laughs> then you wouldn't be stuck up here doing my hair. <laughs> that lady knew how to push my buttons. And one day, she pushed the wrong one. She said, y'all, don't encourage that child. <laughs> you know as well as I do, she will be up here 
washing combs and brushes in this beauty shop for the rest of her life. <sighs> That terrified me. Because here's the thing. I hoped Miss Vader was wrong, but in my secret heart of hearts, I wasn't sure she wasn't right. Because I had heard a lot of beauty shop stories and I'd heard enough to know. Sometimes your dreams come true and sometimes they don't. But I also knew that every great story starts with somebody wanting and trying. Caught a bus from Amarillo, it was going to San Antonio. Had a brand new cardboard suitcase and a window seat. sitting out there on the second day in the late afternoon listening to the cicadas watching the light change and remembering and I remembered who I was and who I am and who I want to be I'm just an old chunk of coal But I'm gonna be a diamond someday I'm gonna glow and grow Till I'm so blue, pure, perfect I'm gonna put a smile on everybody's face I'm gonna kneel and pray every day 